Hey everyone, Cameron Barber here. In today's video, we're going to look at creative ways and how to show the passing of time in our films and to make it easy on the eyes for the audience. Let's check it out. So I've got this footage of this guy reading a book on a couch and you know he's going to read this for around three or four hours and we don't want to show the whole thing uh, unless we do. In this case, check out my other video. Um, it's this guy who's reading a book for three or four hours and um, yeah. Anyway, we don't want to show this, we want to show it a different way. And the first way we can show this is through time lapses. So there's two ways we can show a time lapse. Either we time lapse this random guy, or we time lapse something external. So, you know, for example, a wall clock that's showing literally the time going by, or some beautiful clouds outside. So if you want to go ahead with this approach, either buy some stock footage or film some of your own. Since you've already filmed this random guy, you're going to film, you know, clouds, you're going to film the clock. Or we could just show some plants growing. Um, <laughs> how long is this guy reading for? But if you don't want to use time lapses, you can use cross dissolves. This is something that I'm not a big fan of because it's been overused. Um, you can you see it in a lot of trailers as well, and it's just like, I guess, the lazy approach, dare I say. But if used well, if used correctly, if used in a cinematic way, you can do it. And now let's move on to my favorite, favorite way of transitioning with time, with moving time, with slapping time in the face. We are gonna do the match cut. Other directors have done this effect, but Edgar Wright, I guess, does it the best way. Uh, there are so many video essays on him doing amazing cuts and match cuts, he's a bit famous for. So let's get into match cuts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show my guy, this random guy reading a book. He's reading the whole day, like damn, he loves this book. He's reading the whole day. We're gonna show a clip of him reading it during the day and then a clip of him reading during the night. And then as long as we keep the camera where it is, we are gonna go like this. So it is a very hard cut, but it feels good to slap time in the face. Um, you know, it's a very, very hard slap. Let me know in the comments below if you have any further ways that we can show the passing of time in our films. You know, it'll be great to see some cool ideas that I can, um, you know, steal for part two maybe. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so until then, I'll see you next time. No pun intended.